Cinco de Mayo, Friday, May 5th, 2023, Barry Funkhauser show here. Oh, I'm Barry Funkhauser. Hello. And Joe's there. Hi, I'm here. And man, it's a treat today because it is somewhat of a holiday. I, I, you know, I thought to myself, Joe, I was sitting here thinking to myself, I wonder how the metaverse handles holidays and celebrates holidays. You know about the metaverse, don't you, Joe? Can you tell the people a little bit about what the metaverse is maybe? Well, the the metaverse, the the metaverse is is this this magical place where online you can go and have an avatar, and it's an entirely different world that you can like cruise through and listen to stuff and see bands play and all this stuff. And they they even have their own radio stations and podcasts in the metaverse. Well, today is such a special day. It's a treat, Joe. It's a treat to have. The very first host of the Metaverse on the program today. It's Boffo the Bear, live hey, from the Yeah, we love Boffo. Hi, Boffo. Yeah, how you guys doing? Barry and uh, uh, Joe, good to see you. Good to talk to you. Uh, uh, this is Boffo the Bear coming to you from deep within the Metaverse. And uh, uh, let me. it smells different here now. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's springtime. I don't know. Oh, hey. It is springtime. It, oh, it's, it's still been, raining here, but it's springtime. Yeah, and it's been a while since we talked to you, man. And... The metaverse has changed quite a lot since we've talked last. Can you being inside of it? Can you speak on it a little bit? Have you noticed the change? I have no I like noticed the change in your voice. It sounds like your stones are dropping. Um, yes. <laughs> the internet. Uh, first of all, no one knows what the hell the term metaverse uh, means. Meant. Uh, uh, I, I think. Uh, the publicity got ahead of the actual utility of the area. It's basically uh, living inside of a video game where you can uh, make an avatar of yourself that looks totally not like you. And uh, you go out and talk to other people who you think look like them, but they really don't look like them. It's a it's an artificial construct and the, it's which is supposed to be a good thing. Uh, and I'm not so sure that it is. Um I'm not so sure exactly what the uh, metaverse will become, but I know that uh, I'm the only guy that has a talk show uh, there and, uh, uh, you know, plenty of room. So wait, and so is the metaverse like Inception? Are you like five levels deep now? Are, are, are you like personally like under? Are people watching you in the real world and then? You're under no, no, I, I, yeah, no, I exist in the real world. The, this, the show happens in the metaverse, just like the, all the people that are in the metaverse are human beings that uh, exist in the uh, three dimensional space. I happen to be a bear that exists in a three dimensional space, and it's a, a virtual meeting place. Personally, I don't see the big deal about it. Um, I think uh, the people that we're responsible for making the metaverse want to make it a big deal because they want to make a big pile of money. But uh, people were buying real estate there. I, I, I you know, I, I don't I, I, I don't know. I prefer real world uh, uh, activities such as it, bowling. It, it <laughs> seems weird to me. Like you can buy real estate in the metaverse. Like how, how does real estate have any kind of mo uh, monetary value there? Because it's like infinite. You could just have an infinite amount of plots of land in the metaverse, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> how, how, so yes. how is it worth any money like to buy a plot? It makes well, no the, sense to me. The, you know what? There are rich idiots born every second. And uh, <laughs> that that's who it preys upon people with too much money. And, uh, you know, they they think they're, uh, you know, who? maybe I'm wrong. Maybe 10 years from now, uh a place on the internet that no one knows about that you paid a million dollars for will be very valuable. But uh, I don't see it. I prefer going to the circus or the stock car racing because that's where the real show is. Yeah, well, Buffo, you bring up a very interesting point here. You say that in the metaverse, you're talking with real people. In theory. Well, if I could speak for our new producer, his name is Bard. And uh, <laughs> the, with the advent of AI, does that change it a little bit for you? Because you not really might not sure be talking to real people anymore. Uh, yeah, that's true, uh, which makes it even dumber. As far as I'm concerned, you think you're talking to a human being and you're talking to a, a computer that's designed to, to reflect back to you, your, you know, whatever you want to hear. It's like having a, a, a mail order bride. You know, you can't get laid in your own home country. 
So you send away for a woman that is so desperate that she'll marry some guy she's never met in exchange for getting out of whatever hell hole that she happens to live in at the, at this moment that, you know, that that's a, uh, it's, it's a, it's an approximation of love, but it's not love. We know love is different. Lo- love requires uh, money and time. It's an equation, right? It's a math equation, love. Yeah, Einstein boiled it down to money over time equals love. Very famous, very famous uh, uh, equation. Now, Boffo, you spend some more time in the real world. I'm sure you spend a lot of time in the real world. I know you sure. spend a lot of time at Comic-Con. Uh-huh. And uh, you do a lot of interviews there in sort of in between land, like you're partially inside the metaverse and partially outside of the metaverse. Does that freak out your guests? Yeah. Well, listen, uh, the fact that I'm a cartoon freaks people out, see, and they don't understand, you know, how, how to deal with me, but um, you know, uh, I, I'm not exactly sure where I came from. I don't, I know I exist in the human world and I face every day uh, prejudices and uh, people who look down their nose at me because I am, a cartoon and uh, I'm always handsome. I don't age. I'm hilarious. And uh, that bothers some people, but you know, it is what it is. Who Who's to say what's real and what's not go look at TikTok. Look at some of the people that are making music these days with the, the you know, they, they, uh, they're, by, they're not real. They auto tune. Everything in the world is uh, uh, an avatar to some degree. And uh, I, frankly, I think I'm the most real per- uh, real uh, p- person uh, bear that I know. And that brings up a good point. Now, so your origin story, did you just appear? What, like one day you were just there? Actually, you didn't uh, grow up. You just like were there. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, back uh, right after uh, World War II. Um, oh, we're going these guys, back in the in the oh, time yeah. machine. Okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, these guys uh, th- were working at a place called Termite Flats in Burbank. It was the place where the Warner Brothers did all their cartoons. And Tex Avery and Chuck Jones and Frizz Freeling shared a shitty little office there. And um, one morning, I just woke up there. I, there, there was a a, a storm, an electrical storm, a, a big summer storm, and uh, they found me passed out in their office. They, Stupidly, they had left bourbon out, unlocked. And I I remember just waking up in that office and uh, being thirsty. And uh, I drank all their bourbon and they were angry when they showed up in the morning for work. Um, they were going to actually have me euthanized. And they took me to the, the, the city pound thing there. But I was able to talk my way out of that. And then I became, uh, I started my career in comedy. I started doing television in the 50s and the 60s and 70s and my career has kind of waxed and waned over time. But now with this YouTube thing, um, uh, we've been doing YouTube the last couple of years and it's easy. I do it here in my uh, my office and uh, live up in the Hollywood Hills. I, um, I'm not going to brag, but well, starlets find there, me attractive. I heard there were bears in the Hollywood Hills. Yeah, we're here. I've seen we're a here. bear in the Hollywood Hills before, like an actual yeah. real bear, not a cartoon bear. I haven't seen the cartoon. I saw that on the news. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's the woods, you know, that's where we live in crap. That's the woods. <laughs> so can you tell the people a little so, bit? So about- a bear actually does crap in the woods? <laughs> where the hell else are we going to crap? I mean, Twilight. sometimes, I, well, yeah, sometimes I'll go to, uh, um, uh, you know, the, the, the California pizza kitchen, which is close by. But typically it's the woods. Yeah. So, okay, so Bafo, can you tell some of the people what what to expect on your YouTube Twitch program that you've been doing for a couple of years now? Like, can you tell us about that thing? Sure. Yeah, we interview uh, uh, big celebrities from the Comic-Con world. Um, (coughs) Actors who portray cartoons, uh, writers, comedians, uh, television personalities, and... uh, they sit down with us. Uh, we did it at Comic-Con the last two years. They sit down and we chat about show business, about their lives and uh, funny stuff that happens to them as they interact with their fans. Uh, the the Baffle the Bear channel on YouTube is where all the stuff is. And we've got a couple projects that are bubbling along. We may have a new show that's starting uh, this summer, which I'm look, looking forward to. And uh, yeah, think of me. Think of Baffle. I'm like a glacier. 
Sometimes I'm moving slow, but I never go away. And eventually I will ruin your town. <laughs> All right. So when you go to Comic-Con this year, do, yes. do you have a booth at Comic-Con? Can people go and find you inside the actual convention? Or are you just going to be outside cruising around talking to people? Uh, it depends. Are you talking about San Diego Comic Con? We may have a booth. Yeah, yeah, in there. yeah. San Diego, the big one, the big one. San Diego, the, uh, one. the one that everyone talks about. Yeah, uh, we may. I, I have not. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be in town. That's in July, June, July, somewhere like that. July twentieth to twenty third. Ah, I may actually may be in Europe uh, that week. Uh, we're going to uh, going yeah, to wow, Italy in and Europe? Greece. Of course. That. Where do you think bears come from? Pairs originally are earth signs, and they hey, were born not a in North America. So. I don't know. I don't, he, know. Yeah, I don't well, know. Well, there's Amer there's new world bears, and there's old world bears, and uh, the old world bears are older and crustier, and more set in their ways. Uh, but uh, if we are in town, we will definitely be at the uh, Comic Con, and we'll be at the uh, L.A. Comic Con again in December, I'm sure. Oh yeah, fun. Okay, that that one's fun. Like yeah, that. Joe Buffalo's out of hibernation, man. He's out and about. Uh, hey, just yeah, the know, last couple of weeks I've woke up. I, I'm sorry. I just I I have to refresh my my bear knowledge. It's it's lacking right now. It's I understand. Barely there. <laughs> I've heard them all. Oh man. Okay. Throw me out. So buff buff. Do you are you friends with the green M M&M? and M? Because she's gone through. Man, so much this year. Last year. Uh, yeah, I did a piece on the green M M&M and M on the on the YouTube show. Uh, listen. You've heard the term free love, right? The, the green M&M believes in free love, if you understand what I'm saying. Uh, very friendly, very friendly uh, female. And uh, we've um, we've uh, known each other in the past and hopefully we'll know each other again. Uh, problem is, <clears throat> everyone knows you've been with her because you've got chocolate all over yourself when you're done. But she's a fun girl. Uh, I know she toured with the Grateful Dead uh, traveled with them for a while. She likes musicians. She likes comedians. Uh, <clears throat> she likes champagne. That's really all I can say because I'm a gentle bear. Gosh, I think you've said too much. Yeah. <laughs> She's fun. Fun gal. Fun gal. Fun. Red Eminem, not so much. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard things. Man, okay. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, it is Cinco de Mayo today, and we are all mm -hmm. our sombreros. Do you uh, celebrate holidays in the metaverse, Bafo? Of course, sure. Any chance I can uh, have to drink tequila, um, I'm in. Uh, actually, I prefer mezcal to tequila. Uh, mezcal has that more pungent, gamey, earthy smell to it, and um, uh, longer-lasting effects. If you know what I'm saying, you eat the worm and, you know, you see Jesus and he's driving a 67 Camaro and uh, he's cool. Cool, Jesus, if you've eaten the worm. OK. Um, all right. Well, OK, I have one more question for Bafo. All and right. If you'd like to find him, you can find him on Twitter at Bafo the bear and on all the things on YouTube and you all the things. You have an IMDb page, Bafo. That's I got, I got everything. I got everything. I got uh, all of that stuff. All right, Bafo the Bear. Would you rather get into a battle to the death with one horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? A battle to the death, Bafo the Bear. I would take the one uh, horse-sized duck because, first of all, ducks are stupid. Secondly, they're mostly feathers and down. They're not very strong. And what, they're going to beat you with their, with their wings? No. No, a, you know, a hundred <clears throat> duck-sized horses could kick you or bite you or, or you know, uh, band together. And, and maybe one horse uh, would open up and all the other horses would get in it in a sartorial example, living way of doing the Trojan horse. But um, no, I think uh, if you can't peed up a duck, you deserve to die. That's how I look at it. Ducks are stupid. D <laughs> ducks are stupid. Yeah. Ducks are dumb. They're nice. They're delicious, but they're not smart. All right. Well, we'll all be eating the worm today. Thanks for being on, Bafo. Always a pleasure, Funky. And uh, you too, Joe, you guys are, you have a fantastic program here. And uh, I, 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 uh, I salute anyone who's listened to it this far. 
Well, we're going to have to get our avatars together and come on uh, on the metaverse. At I'm some a parrot. Point. I want to be a parrot. I want to be a parrot. You want to be a parrot? Be a parrot? Oh, Why would you oh, want to be I, a parrot? I was, I was not imagining that from you. Uh, okay. Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to be like... Um, I'm going to be like the Talladega Knights Jesus. I think I'm, you know, I'm going to be like Jesus with like big angel wings. And I'm going to be singing lead vocals for Leonard Skinner with an angel band behind me. You know, it's going to be great. Bopo, you'll be in the fantastic. front row. You'll be hammered drunk. It'll be great. I'll be on the worm, as they say. <laughs> I'm on the worm.